It all started when I was debugging a massive piece of code, and I thought, if my code were music, it would be a horror soundtrack. But what if we actually made that happen? What if code could be heard? Good, structured, elegant code sound harmonious, while syntax errors made the equivalent of nails on chalkboard. That's when Sound of Code was born. A project to convert programming syntax into a musical experience. The first version was embarrassingly simple. You map JavaScript keywords like if, for, and function to piano notes using the Web Audio API. Syntax errors? They triggered a random dissonant chord making debugging an auditory nightmare and were detected by the Esprima library. We parse all code first, identify errors, merge them with tokens, and play the entire line. And there were no troubles. <clears throat> of course, there were. It sounded terrible. Even properly written code felt like a chaotic toddler smashing piano keys. The experience was fun, but not exactly something you'd want to listen to. But you have to. This is how Sound of Code was playing its own source code with some errors I've added. So, the sound was too flat. The initial version lacked depth. Each note was isolated and there was no sense of harmony or musicality. It felt robotic and repetitive, missing the richness that makes music enjoyable. The lack of rhythm made it unbearable. It was just a burst of notes instead of structured tune. I needed a way to space out the notes over time. Syntax errors were too painful. I thought making errors sound pleasant would be a fun feature. Turns out, it wasn't. To fix the horror show, I introduced structured playback. Instead of playing notes instantly, I used tone.js with sampled piano sounds. I grouped related keywords into musical scales for a more structured sound. Instead of harsh random chords for syntax errors, I switched to a low bass warning tone, making debugging less painful. Now, running a cleanly written function produces something that actually resembles music, instead of pure chaos. Debugging still relies on sound, but far less traumatic. After improving structured playback, I realized something was still missing. It didn't feel like a real composition. Just playing single notes or basic chords wasn't enough. Music is layered, just like all structured code. So I expanded it beyond just the piano bass line and introduced dynamic instrumentation with drum rhythm section and guitar harmony. Now, instead of an isolated set of notes, our code generates an entire song, a structured dynamic composition that evolves based on your programming style. If your code is elegant and efficient, it sounds smooth and harmonious. If it's chaotic and tangled, the music reflects that. This transformed Sound of Code from a fun gimmick into an actual algorithmic music generator, one where your coding style writes the score. I'd love to expand this concept further, make it sound more natural. Right now it's toned for JavaScript, but imagine how Python, Rust, or even BrainFuck might sound. Different languages could have their own musical styles. Python as jazz, Rust as orchestral, and BrainFuck as, well, chaotic free jazz. Instead of manually mapping keywords to notes, an AI could analyze the code structure and generate dynamic harmonies that adapt to coding patterns, making the music feel more natural and expressive. Multiple users could collaborate writing code together while the music dynamically updates, creating a live coding music performance. The goal? To turn code into an art form, not just something you read, but something you you hear, feel, and experience. The result? You hear your code like never before. Whether it's a masterpiece or chaotic mess is entirely up to your coding skills. Sound of Code started as a joke but evolved into something strangely satisfying. Now every time I write a function, I wonder, does this sound good? Maybe clean code isn't just about readability, maybe it's about melody too. Want to try it yourself? Find a link in the pinned comment. Plug in your code, hit play, and listen to the sound of your programming skills. And how are you making your code debugging fun? Share in comments below, subscribe, and stay in tech!